Perhaps a picture in Gaza equals 1,000 words. Under this slogan, Gaza photographers have organized a photo exhibition to show what they have managed to capture with their cameras of scenes of the suffering and the effects of the Gaza siege on the people. The pictures only depict part of the tragic situation the Gazans have been experiencing for a long time, but they can carry the desperate cries of patients and hungry children. It's important that such photo exhibitions and other forms of art be seen in the West to shake the conscience of the world and to let freedom-loving people express their anger over the Israeli siege. This photo exhibition is one in a series of peaceful activities organized by the Popular Committee Against Siege as a message to the international community to intervene and a break the crippling blockade by putting pressure on Israel to reopen all border and commercial crossings. This exhibition embodies the suffering of our people and exposes the brutality of the Israeli occupiers who continue to impose collective punishment on Gazans. Each photo here carries a story that will not be erased from our memories. International pro-Palestinian activists who visited this exhibition said such artistic events are important to reach the wider audience and break the media blackout. Standing here today, though, looking at these photos, you know, of the desecration and, and brutality that, that the people of Gaza and of Palestine in general are forced to live through, I really feel that this exhibition has to be seen in the West. Um, you know, that, that, that this is nothing new for, for people here. And yet, I think to, to try and break through the, the media censorship. Meanwhile, the head of the Popular Committee Against Siege announced that the Libyan boat carrying 3,000 tons of food, medicine, blankets, and powdered milk is to reach the Gaza Strip in defiance of an Israeli sea blockade. The Libyan vessel follows three boats that have already broken the siege. Besieged Gazans are using all available means in their position, including art, to let the world know about the plight they have been suffering from due to the siege. But whether or not this exhibition will do that remains to be seen. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.